Well, hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Wednesday, March 23rd. This week, we are continuing our I Still Am series where we've been exploring the seven I Am statements that Jesus makes throughout the Gospel of John. This week, we're looking specifically at John chapter 10 where Jesus declares that he is the Good Shepherd. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know any shepherds. Maybe you don't know any shepherds either. I've never even met a shepherd. I don't even think I've seen a shepherd in real life. But one thing that I know about shepherds is one of the responsibilities that shepherds have is to protect their flock, right? That's one of the key responsibilities, not only to lead them, not only to guide them, not only to direct them, but also to protect them. And there's this great passage in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 34 and 35, where we get a little bit of an insight into what that protector role of a shepherd might have looked like. Uh, it, it, you may know the name David, King David. He was obviously one of the most f- sort of famous characters uh, in the entire Bible. And uh, when David, before David became King David, David, David was the shepherd boy David. And just before he killed the, the giant Goliath, King Saul confronted him and said, who are you to go and try to fight this, this giant Goliath? And David responded by explaining some of the ways that he had already proved himself in battle. And and some of the ways that he had already proven himself in battle uh, was as a shepherd boy, some of the ways that he had to protect his sheep. And listen to what he says. This is David describing some of the things that he's already had to do as a shepherd. He says this, your servant, talking about himself, has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, listen to this, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by the hair, struck it, and killed it. Come on, King David, man, you are the man. I mean, even as a kid, this guy was killing bears and lions in order to protect his father's sheep. Come on. So what that tells me is that when Jesus tells us that he is our good shepherd, Jesus is picking up on this idea that shepherds were the protectors of the flock and that they would do whatever it took to protect and care for the flock. Friends, isn't it good to know that that even when you and I go through difficult circumstances and difficult situations, that ultimately our ultimate salvation, our ultimate safety for all of eternity is held secure by our good shepherd, the one who will ultimately protect our eternity with his life. Friends, be encouraged by this, and we'll see you tomorrow.